In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my brand new home office, YouTube studio, aquarium gallery, whatever you want to call it. Basically, just going to show you how I transformed an empty bedroom into the space that it is right now. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. So on the 1st of March, which is now about six weeks ago, we got the keys to our new home which is a three bedroom, 91 square meter apartment, very close to Amsterdam. So the place has two floors. So downstairs we have the living room and the kitchen and upstairs we have the three bedrooms and the bathroom. So this space right here is actually the largest bedroom. So initially we were thinking to turn this into the master bedroom, you know, and sleep here. But this, side, this space is quite interesting in size, like it has a lot of slanted walls. So it will be a little bit difficult to put a bed here. And to me, it also seemed a little bit wasteful to use this large space just for sleeping, you know. So I managed to convince my girlfriend to let me use this space for my office, for my studio and for all the aquariums. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea about the size of this place, I think from left to right, it's more or less five and a half meters. And that includes a little room on the side, which I will show you in a little bit. And then from this window to the wall over there, it's like three and a half meters. So it's not a master space, but it's, it's big enough for me to house right now almost 10 aquariums, so I'm definitely happy with the size of it. So yeah, as soon as we, we got the keys, I started painting. Uh, the room was completely white when we got it, but I knew that with all these planted tanks, like a dark background would look a lot nicer. I didn't want to go for completely black, so I found a really nice dark green paint online. So I ordered one can of that, started painting, but because the walls were white, of course, it needed multiple layers um, yeah, to be completely covered. So I had to order more paint online. But then that's where things kind of went wrong because the company sent me the wrong color on that second order. It was more like a, a very dark gray. So I emailed them, explained the situation, placed a new order again. But on that new order, they again sent me that, that dark gray paint. Now there was not really a massive difference between the two colors. So I think these walls over here have the dark green on them and the rest is pretty much dark gray. But to be honest with you guys, I don't really see a massive difference anyway. So. I'm quite happy with the end result. It took a little bit of time, but it was very satisfying when I could finally remove the tape from the from all the edges, you know. I didn't paint the ceilings because I thought if I'm gonna paint the ceilings black as well, then this room is just gonna turn into one big dark cave and that's not really what I wanted. I still want to have some light in this room. And with the walls painted, it was time to start adding in some furniture. And I'm gonna to have to disappoint you guys, but I got rid of the shelf. So there was just no way for me to fit the shelf in this room. It was a 120 from left to right and I don't have a 120 empty wall. So go rid of the shelf. I mean, I had it for five years and it was also kind of time to move on in my opinion, but there's a new shelf over here, which I'll show you in a minute. But the old shelf used to hold five of my tanks. So with the shelf gone, it meant that I had to buy some new furniture. So the first thing I got was this stand for the saltwater tank. And I'm really, really happy with it actually. I knew that the space between the two doors would just be the perfect position for this tank because it's blue light. So I kind of wanted to have it away from all the fresh water tanks, you know? So I wanted to have a tall stand and also in the same dimensions as the cube. So 35 by 35 centimeters. It was a little bit difficult, but I finally managed to find a fitting stand. I think this one was originally for an Aqua L setup. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description if I can find it. Then after that, I needed some furniture for this corner, but actually this corner came together really, really quickly because both walls are pretty much uh, 140 from left to right. So I knew that I could fit two IKEA Besta cabinets over here. They are 120 from left to right, so I could have a little bit of empty space in the, in the corner. Perfect for a little house plant. So we have the black IKEA Besta cabinet, and then I went with the, um, these wooden oak, I think they're called oak veneer doors. So I think it looked really good. I wanted to have some wooden elements in the studio as well. So yeah, really happy with the end result. On this one, we have three 35 centimeter cubes. Uh, they all came from, you know, from the old apartment. I just moved them here. On this side, we have the 45P, which I've also moved. Over here, we have a new setup. This is the UNS Foresta 35E. This will be one of the first projects that I'm starting on in the new studio. Then just to make these IKEA cabinets a little bit more aquarium friendly, I drilled some holes in the back so I can fit all the wires and all the tubing through it. And I've also added a, um, like a multi-socket in every single compartment. And I've added some um, motion sensor, wireless charged um, lights as well, just because the room is quite dark. 
I just need some extra lights in these cabinets, you know. Next up, we have probably the most expensive quarter in my little studio, and that is my desk setup. So for the past three and a half years in the old apartment, I didn't have an office, I didn't have a desk, I didn't have a desk chair. I've basically just been editing all my YouTube videos from our dinner table, just sitting on a dining chair, which is not the most comfortable. So you can kind of imagine how my back would feel after a long day of editing. So for the desk, I kind of treated myself to a proper setup. So I don't know if you guys are interested in this. I mean, it's an aquarium channel, it's not a desk editing setup channel, but let's quickly go over everything. The chair is from Secret Lab, this is the Titan Evo Lite. Then the desk is not from any particular brand, I just found it online. And then it's a sit and standing desk, so I can actually raise it. So if my back starts to hurt, I can just uh, do some work standing up, you know. And I've been using that quite a lot and I'm actually quite enjoying just, just taking little breaks and, and working standing. Then over here we have my MacBook. It's a MacBook Pro M1, I think. And then it's just connected to a large monitor. Okay, then moving on to probably my favorite corner in this room. So I also wanted to have a place to just sit down and chill after days of work. Or if I would have some guests over, they could also have a place to sit, you know? So this corner is a little bit smaller than the one over there. So the wall over here is just one meter. So I knew that this wall would be a perfect fit for the UNS 90B. This tank is 90 centimeters from left to right. I just needed something for it to stand on. So I found a nice black metal TV stand, which I wasn't sure if it's going to be able to hold the weight of the UNS 90B because it is quite heavy. But so far it seems to be doing okay. The stand took a little while to arrive. So initially I just had the UNS 90B on the floor, which of course is not ideal, but I thought the stand finally came in, I assembled it and put the tank on top. I also changed the light. I had it on a, uh, yeah, a hanging stand, but I've now mounted it onto the, the ceiling, which I just think looks very, very good. Oh yeah, something to sit on. I found this nice leather chair online, which is quite comfortable. Still need a little pillow for my back. And added a cool house plant. I've added a few house plants here and there throughout the room, just to make it, yeah, make it more cozy, make it look nicer. And then over here next to it, we have the UNS 60U, which I just released a build video from last week or two weeks ago, actually. Doing really good. Initially, I had not planned for the UNS 60U to be here. I kind of messed up and for totally forgot to include it in my floor plan. My initial idea was to have a small stand here, similar to this one, like a black metal stand. And I wanted to put the uh, UNS 35E on top of that. I thought that would be cool as well, but... Um, yeah, now that the 60U is here, I actually quite like it in this corner. I've also put some frames on the wall. So I have three of the Tropica plant art canvas pictures, whatever they're called. They don't make these anymore, so I was kind of lucky that I still managed to find them. I also need something for the wall on the other side, but that one is still empty. I have no idea what I'm going to put there. Okay, then moving on to my new shelf. So this wall is also one meter. So if it would have been 20 centimeters bigger, I might have been able to fit the old shelf here, but it's not, and I'm actually quite happy with the new shelf as well. This one is also from Ikea. Um, I'm not sure about the name, but I'll leave it on the screen. It's black, it's metal, it's heavy duty, and kind of matches with the TV stand from the UNS 90B as well. So on top, we just have some storage. Then below that, I have the UNS 30C for my Alien Beta. Next to that, I have an empty UNS 5T, which I'm about to set up maybe next week if I have time. Below that, I've made a little drawer for all my camera equipment again with some of those fancy uh, motion lights maybe not the best idea to have expensive camera equipment below a tank but so far with maintenance it's been just fine then below that we have another shelf here i have an empty uns 5e which i'm about to set up soon as well i have a nice little house plant i have a beautiful um, elderly rock another frame and below that we have some hardscape materials then lastly, I want to show you guys my little storage area. So obviously with this hobby, you just start collecting a bunch of stuff, hardscape, substrate, equipment, uh, you name it. And all that stuff needs to have a place as well. And preferably close by, especially you know, when I'm creating a new setup. So I'm really, really happy with this storage area. It's very small. It's only 
I think it's one meter from left to right and then maybe three meters um, in length. So I just bought two of those hard plastic shelving units. I think they're both 80 centimeters wide and that's just holding all my crap, you know, all my fertilizers, all my substrates and just, you yeah, know, everything. Then next to the shelf, I have my little maintenance cart. Let's actually take this one out and show it to you guys properly. So this is something that I wanted to do for a very long time. I've seen other people do it and I think it's just really cool. A little maintenance cart. So on top we have my liquid fertilizers. Below that are some siphons, some fish nets and some sponges. And then below that I just have some more things like water conditioner and stuff like that. Some fish food. And then I've added a little uh, metal bar. Just th that you would normally use for all your kitchen knives and stuff. So I've attached it to the cart. And here I have all my pinset and scissors and stuff like that. Um, I've also added some uh, metal magnetic hooks so I can have all my towels, you know, I can never have enough towels. Yeah, that's my little maintenance cart. Okay, this one goes back and then next to the maintenance cart I have my entire rock collection which is quite a lot. This is not really the best solution because I mean if I need some rocks from the lowest grade I'm pretty screwed but I just need to find a better solution for this, uh, for this hard scan material, but we'll figure something out in the future. There's one more thing that I want to show you guys, and that is how I do my water changes. So if we leave the studio and we go to the next room, this is basically just our uh, laundry room, have the washing machine over here. But on top of that, I mounted my RO unit. This is quite a beast. So I have a little hose here, I just grab that. At the end of the hose, I've just made a little setup with some connections and a little valve as well. So I can basically just hook it on the side of the glass. And then if I open the valve, it immediately starts pouring in fresh RO water. So the old dirty water just goes into a bucket and then I bring it to the toilet and then I just top it up with fresh RO water. And if necessary, I will add the minerals. So the only thing I haven't shown you guys is the Oasis Escape Line 90, my biggest tank. There was just no way that this tank was going to fit in this room. So that one is downstairs in our living room. It's doing good. Um, plants are healthy, fish are healthy, it's looking good. Um, maybe in the near future I will rescape it, I'm not sure yet. But I think for now this room tour is pretty much done. Um, the, the room itself still needs a few things. I think I want to improve the sound quality. So I'm not sure if, it's, if you guys can pick it up from the mic, but I think the sound quality could be a little bit better. So I've already added some foam panels to the ceiling and I'm also waiting on a carpet for the floor. I think once I have the carpet in, it will sound a bit better. Um, I want to put some more things on the wall. Also, these walls are still completely empty. I don't even have any curtains yet, so I need curtains as well. And yeah, just little things and then just start creating a bunch of new content. Super excited for it. Hope you guys enjoyed my new studio tour. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.